The goal for this team right now is to get us in line with the federal standards for a nationally certified and accredited SWAT team. We're on par right now to get that goal accomplished probably by 2017. Public Affairs with an inside look at Emergency Services Team Training. Last time, we followed EST through tryouts and live fire training at night. Now, it's time to see what goes on behind closed doors. This evening, the plan is for these guys to practice dynamic and deliberate entry tactics. And I'm going to help out by being one of the hostages. My captor, Tech Sergeant Wilson, and I hid waiting for the team to respond to the situation. Their task was to clear the building to find the hostile target and meet the hostage. Their goal was to bring me out safely without losing any of their own guys because my captor was armed. In the end, EST successfully took down my captor and was able to guide me to a safe point. EST practices entry tactics and building clearing over and over throughout the night, responding to a new scenario every time, ending each scenario with a debrief. Well, that's all you guys did a good job. Funding for the program is currently coming from within their unit, but they are working on becoming WING certified so that they can receive WING funding. The EST program not only impacts the base, it also affects the people involved. I love this program. Honestly, it, it brings a, a sense of camaraderie that you get even more so, even though you're in security forces, it, it brings this group of guys together. It teaches us skills that are, that are so much more advanced and it allows us to teach other members and make them better. This group of motivated guys works hard on their own time to learn these skills. And even though they hope they are never needed, they'll be ready if they are and have each other's backs the whole time.